All right, we got this Harbor Breeze ceiling fan. The fan part work, the lights don't. I checked the actual switch. It seems to be fine. So I'ma go inside the guts and see uh, what's going on in there. It might be that, what is it called? Uh, uh, not the capacitor, but the limiter. If the limiter go out, then the lights won't work. Once again, this is a uh, Harbor Breeze. So we're gonna start by, I pulled the bulbs out and this little metal thing, well, this metal nut, see it spin? That's what hold these uh, shapes on or whatever you wanna call it. So mine has four of them. We're gonna start by taking those out and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I got all of them off except for one. There's always one. It's loose. But once it get into a certain spot, it locks up. I don't feel like dealing with it. I don't really want to put no tool in there because this is glass. If it slip off, hit this glass, it could break it. So I'm gonna just bring it down with it on there. Next, you got these three Phillips screws going around. There's one there. Uh, let's see, there's one there. As you can see, I already started taking them off. And there's one more. Oh. The other one, it's right there, but I already took it out. So it takes those, take those three screws out and we'll continue on as soon as I get them out. All right, so I got the three out and it's all down. As you can see, there's a wire harness right here and there's a pinch. All you have to do, I can't do it now because I'm holding the phone with one hand and I'm holding the, the actual lighting with my right hand. With that little pinch, all you have to do, the back of it, you squeeze and it'll raise the front. And once it raises it, you can pull that uh, bottom piece down and it'll come apart. So I'm gonna do that right now and separate it. All right, so as you can see, it came apart, the wire harness. So just pinch it and pull, it'll separate. So let's take this down and have a look at it. All right, now that we have it all down, this is the piece that uh, I believe is bad. I'm gonna uh, check it out and see if I can figure out if it's actually this or the actual switch for the light at the bottom. I don't believe it's the switch because everything seems to be functioning. The, when you pull it, it's smooth and make the click and release and everything. So I don't believe it's that, but I'm not 100% sure. So for now, going after this bad boy right here and uh, I'm gonna say say you can uh, bypass it or uh, eliminate it that's what I'm gonna try to do so uh, once I figure that out I'll show you how I did it and I'll be right back all right I'm back finally figured it out took me a minute but y'all wouldn't know because I stopped the footage but um this is the uh, the limiter this uh, big box right here, at least according to mine, it has a label on it that says Hunter. So if yours has this big box in it, this is the limiter. I should have, uh, matter of fact, I do have video of um, how this thing was plugged in here, I believe, because I don't remember what wire went where, but that's not important, because if this is bad, it doesn't even matter. So mine had these quick, uh, connect disconnect plugs on it which is good so i didn't even have to cut and splice and put the uh uh what you call it the twist caps on it i don't have to use none of that these are twist caps you put the uh wires together and you twist these caps over it i didn't have to do that because these already have the quick connects so basically all you do these quick connects if you look here they go inside of each other um one is a male See if it is zoom. Come on. Yeah, there we go. One is a male. It's more rounded. And then this is the female. It has a bigger opening. Come on. So that the male obviously can go in it. It's getting a little overrated. But uh yeah, let's keep this PG13. Uh so these are the quick disconnects. Take this apart. And what you do, I had two white wires. One coming from the light, and one went into this harness. So those two wires, I put together, 
and then the other two wires was black which came from the light that comes straight up from the light fixture and this baby blue one which also went into the harness so put the two white wires together the two white ones and then put the black and the blue one together whether you had these quick disconnects or not if you don't have these disconnects it should have been a uh, uh, twist cap on it just take the twist cap off by turning it counterclockwise and then what you want to do you want to splice these two wires together twist them together um, just make sure it's enough wire hanging out of this rubber so that you can twist them together and then once you twist those two together I'm just doing it by example just say they was twisted together like this you put the uh, twist caps on it and make sure it's tight where it won't come off and you be good same thing for this one if you don't have a quick connect just twist the wires together like this one but up here the metal is showing so just make sure the wire is exposed and it's twisted together and then you put the cap on it by twisting it uh, clockwise until it get tight so put the two white wires together and the black and blue wire together and this junk right here you can throw in the trash and once you do that it should work so let's put this thing back together and uh see if it works so put these two together make sure everything is in here uh not hanging out so you can put the light fixture back up and um we'll take it from there all right as you can see we're going back up this harness i just pushed it back together and these three screw holes one right there one on the other side so you can see the light shining through and one is over there where you buy the green wire make sure you plug the harness back up make sure all the wires are tucked in so they won't hang out and prevent you from uh putting this fixture back together and that's just the reversal once you get everything back up test your lights and see if they work so let me put this back together and we go check it out all right so i have the three screws in but before you put everything back together put a bulb in one of the uh in one of the bulb sockets make sure it works before you put everything back together because you don't want to put everything back together to find out it don't work and uh, you have to take it all apart to figure out where you went wrong so just make sure it works before you uh, put everything back together and just to show you that it does work Mr. Poop look she down I'm up here working sweating like a slave she down there enjoying her cup of noodles uh, sandwich, though. oh okay I appreciate that can you Hit that light switch. Oh, would you look at that. I right, you cut it off. So that worked. That limiter, all it does, it uh, limits the power to, I believe, 100 and... I think it won't let it go over like 180 uh, volts. Uh, it's just preventing you from overpowering the, uh, the light fixture. But a lot of times people say you really don't need it. That's just extra precaution that the company takes just to prevent getting sued over something. I don't know, maybe, uh, I have no idea. But it's something that you really don't need, especially if you're using um, LED bulbs. LED bulbs take less wattage than the normal uh, halogen bulbs. So a lot of people just bypass it and call it a day. And basically that's what we did. We removed it bypassed it and uh, got these lights working now they see when uh, the limiter go out it don't let enough wattage go through to actually turn on the uh, the lights so what we did we bypassed it to where the power the 120 volts that's coming out of the, the circuit breaker that goes through that limiter and to the bulbs we removed the middleman the limiter now the wattage that's coming from the circuit breaker is going straight to the bulbs and now we have enough wattage to actually turn them on so that's all we're doing is bypassing that limiter and as you can see everything worked so i'm gonna finish putting these shades back on put all the bulbs in and call it a day i can relax and enjoy me a couple noodles look she's down there choking you hear that she, man that must be a good couple noodles ain't it take your time take your time all right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. If you have any questions, 
leave it in the comment section. Hit that notification button. Yeah, hit that notification button. So you don't forget this video. Yeah. Ellie boy. Say hi. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Say hi, Layla. Hi. All right. You guys have a awesome, wonderful day. Hopefully even more wonderful with your lights working now. Like I said, if you have any uh, comments, questions, just ask them in the comment section below. God bless.